Terence Ong. Okay, I'm the owner of uh, Tujo Cafe in Section 17. The inspiration for the whole cafe is like it's based on the building itself because the building is an old building from the late 60s or early 70s. So we try to uh, restore much of the identity itself. It's like you can see the, uh, some of the fine details of the design. It is from, inspired from the uh, 70s. Yeah. So at the back, you can see there's a, what for that, the attic area where there's a natural light comes in. And by uh, fully utilize the space, I mean the natural light by having some plants and even two trees. It is like giving the customers an outdoor feel, but while having the comfort of indoor, right? They can, I mean, uh, when there's a sunlight, there's a blind can block the sun, the glare, but they're still very bright, natural light. And with the comfort of uh, air cons, you can, the customer can still enjoy the natural light. And with the trees inside, so it gives customer a very relaxing feel. Like perhaps something like uh, outdoor camping, I mean outdoor picnic, kind of thing, but indoors. Uh, one I choose those is because of the visual, for the visual purpose. I mean, apart from from, from having plants indoors. Uh, at the side, there's those, uh, something looks like a lalang to most Malaysians. It's actually, there are some scientific names. I couldn't remember the whole name. It's from the family of Thai Pa. Okay. I have been collecting since I was like, as I mentioned, about when I was teenage because uh, I like products from the 70s and uh, 60s. And at one point of time, I have like over 30s of uh, vintage cameras, film cameras, uh, the 35mm, the, the, the medium format, and, and some other things I like to collect will be phones, TVs, uh, audio videos and stuff. And what you see here is probably some of uh, my collections. I have more at home and also my hometown. Yeah. To match the whole uh, feelings that I want my customer to take is like the very chilling, very relaxing environment. So we are playing some jazzy music, and it's either jazzy or sometimes during the uh, later part in the evening, some chill out, some launch music, but not too loud, not too heavy kind of stuff. Those posters are drawn by my friend. Okay. Uh, initially, when I discussed with him, probably, in, the initial idea is like to have some wall mural, but wall mural probably too common. And uh, the other thing is like back then I was worried about uh, the sound reflections. Okay, so I was thinking perhaps use some canvas may absorb some of the noise instead. So then. From there on, I thought that like, why not have a big canvas, not a few big canvas, so it probably give more impact than a wall mural. So then we come down to uh, five because of the, the, the size of it. So maximum can fit in five. And the five, I gave the names of these people that I wanted to my friend. And uh, most, I let him have this free hand to do the execution and the style that, that he likes. Uh, our menu is not very comprehensive, not too many items because we are a cafe, not a restaurant. And the, the food we serve are more of like cafe-ish and it's inspired from this uh, Australian kind of uh, uh, cafes. But we fine-tune it a little bit, meaning in terms of like ingredients we use sometimes. Some of items we infuse it with some fusion elements of it, into it. So some of the items will be like fusion food and that. Uh, one of the items will be the mentai glazed salmon. So we pop the uh, salmon with the mentai. So it's more of like the Japanese kind of uh, uh, ingredients there. So it gives, uh, uh, hopefully more local will like it in that way. In the, in the sense.
we have some uh, it's quite fusion on, on our steak because we have the chimichurri which is inspired from the South uh, American uh, uh, dressings and we have the potatoes with a little bit of spiciness to it that is more of like Asian so it's not only Asian but we also explore some uh, ingredients or sauces from other regions as well to make it more unique we are self-service to a certain extent where customers come in they look at the menu and they order from the counter but from there on we will serve the food to them and, and we will try to be, to be more attentive and, and to, be, to, to be aware of what they need because sometimes customers may, may want something but they may some customers may shy and you know okay but we will try to notice that and ask the customers what they need and we also try to be more friendly in terms of like uh, like we have hooks under the table I mean some most of the cafe have that as well have, yeah what you see here now is just more, more, mostly on the ground floor but we also will have uh, upstairs the rear part of the upstairs will be used as an additional seating area okay, where we have like the vintage sofas and probably one common table the front part we will be use it as an event space where people can use it for private functions it can be used for galleries, it can be used for workshops uh, it can be even used for, uh, for meetings meetings where like they can have their meetings there and during the breaks, they can adjust to the back for the, their breaks, for their lunch, for their tea time.